Welcome to another Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, this one is a exciting one. I wanted to show you some really cool way, uh, a really cool way to get some amazing materials into your scene. Um, whether you're doing architectural visualizations or you are doing uh, creating game scenes, um, this is unrivaled, uh, mostly because it's free, um, but really the power in this you'll see in a moment. So. Um, all I've done here in the scene is I've just brought in a couple of assets from the Quixel bridge um, and uh, this is from the Quixel mixer which is Quixel is a uh, material engine um, built by the guys at Unreal uh, but uh, the difference between that, that and some of the other um, material programs that Adobe offers are that it's free. So uh, basically what you're going to do is you're going to want to get the uh, Quixel bridge. Let me resize this for you here. Uh, so once you've downloaded this um, and you'll basically be able to select uh, Cinema 4D as your um, exporter and it's going to create just an automatic link to Cinema 4D. Make sure that you install a plugin with Cinema 4D closed and then you're going to open Cinema 4D and then you're going to come back into this window. Um, so if I come over here and I just create file new, um, you're looking at just a blank project. Um, and if I come into my bridge, wait till you see how many assets there are. So I can go to um, all types of assets and I can look at um, anything from grass to, you know, this is just showing me the scene breakdown all these different um, let's just try let's just try mossy ground um, so let's just we're just gonna hit download over here and it's gonna show me a little indicator of its progress it's downloading this mossy ground material all right now that it's completed you're gonna notice that with the uh, bridge plugin installed. I have now this export option. I've already set it to Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to click export and I'm going to get this successful um, indicator here. You're not going to notice anything's changed until you jump into Cinema 4D and you're going to notice there's my uh, mossy ground material which I can, which works best in some of the renders, um, like physical renderer. Uh, you can also use this in Redshift and Octane. Um, you can even use V-Ray, which I use. Um, to convert the, convert the materials, but just to show you quickly how this works, I can just drag and drop my um, material onto a ground plane here, and let's just add a physical sky. And if I do a quick render, I've got this pretty awesome looking uh, material, advanced bitmap that came in, um, that I can use, and you know we can manipulate all the settings of the material over here um, and let's say I want to continue adding to my scene I can come back into the um, oops I'm in mixer the bridge and uh, let's see uh, let's try just finding like a uh, physical object like a rock or something um, Let's see, let's try a street curb. Let's download that. Now that's download, I'm just gonna click export and now I've got the street curb in my scene here. Um, if I zoom in, I can position this over here and you know duplicate it out to make sections of my uh, my street curb. And do a quick test render. And there we go. Um, obviously, you know, we can add some better rendering options here, like using ambient occlusion, give it some good, better shadows here around the edge of the curb. Uh, we can also add global illumination. Obviously, gonna up our render time, but it's gonna increase the quality of our render. So you can see right there, I've got, I've done a pretty good job of building, you know, let's say a 
grass up to a, you know, an old street or however you want to use this. Um, you can also search by different uh, environments uh, if you're looking for natural um, types of uh, things. So we can go to like industrial. Um, let's say if we want to change that curve the street to something else. Let's try concrete damaged. Just gonna export it. And now I'm gonna take my concrete damaged and change my ground to now this concrete damage. And look at that, just straight away, um, I've got this good looking concrete area. So if you're really, if you're adding to a scene that you're doing for architectural visualization or for gaming, there's really nothing more powerful for um, the price tag that you're gonna find in this Quixel bridge. So I um, encourage you to download it, play around with it. Um, find all the different assets that it has to offer, um, whether they be 3D assets, uh, plants, surfaces, um, you know, atlases or just like 2D um, indicators here, uh, imperfections, you know, for piping or for different, different elements of your house design, whatever. Um, anyway, hope this tutorial was useful. I uh, hope you get a chance to use Quixel Bridge in your next project. Thanks for watching.